Hi, hi, hello. So in today's video, I will be redrawing some old, some old art from my DeviantArt. So a video I made like a few months ago, I think, no, it was the, it was at the big, it was at the end of May. So yeah, I think it would technically be a few months ago. I went through my old DeviantArt and I kind of, you know, I like, I was laughing at it. And it was, this, some of the art isn't that great. And, but one of the ones that I knew I wanted to redraw at some point was the one simply titled vampire wedding i'm gonna show it right now and this drawing it kind of just i guess in general it showed how i like i wasn't i was new to digital art at the time but there are things that i just realized how I, how lazy i i am <laughs> or i was like the floor in the original is not fully filled in there are parts where I just didn't catch the fact that I didn't color them and I didn't bother to go back and fix it. Yeah, so, and so in the background, I really despise the background in this drawing. So I wanted to, that was the main thing I was working on fixing. That and the pose is super, like, like it's not very fluid. It's, it's very just like stiff and it's not natural. It's like you're looking at, it's not like you're looking at two vampires, like, dancing at their little wedding. It's like you're looking at two stick people. And, and I just, you know, was not about that. <laughs> okay, so for this drawing, I wanted to paint the background because that's usually what I do. I don't like doing line art on backgrounds. I think it makes them not look that great at least in my art style so i i painted it i kind of messed up a little bit because i made the brown of like the, the gray of the pillar too brown compared to the other grays and when i painted it turns even more brown and so i have this brown pillar and everything else is gray but i fix it later another thing is little tiny review on ivs paint like for like windows i guess i had some issues with windows ink and i also had i also had issues like just like getting used to the brushes again because i can recreate my art style with the brushes like the default brushes it's just it's a lot different because the blending is a lot different so i have to like adjust to that like these rocks are a prime example because i would have blended them out more if i used clip studio but with IVS paint, if I tried to blend them out too much, it looked muddy. So I had to do a very more painterly look, which it ended up looking really nice on the rocks. But on the people, like on their skin, or on the vampires on their skin, it ended up looking kind of wonky. Uh, or like patchy, and I didn't know why. I had this problem whenever I would usually draw an IVS paint, but I usually just was able to fix it, but I couldn't fix it. I would definitely recommend it if you are like new to new to digital art or like on a or digital art on a computer because this was really like if I had this like if I had this like four years ago I would have used it and it, because this first drawing I show I, I showed the the 2019 version I made in Fire Alpaca. Which I don't really recommend Fire Alpaca, even though it's free, it's just not that great. Every time I used it, it was a fail. And not even just because I was a new artist, but because it would crash on me and... I remember having a frustrating time with it. Like, I would have rather drawn on my phone than draw on Fire Alpaca. <laughs> Oops. But... Yeah, for the price, if you want to just get into, like, digital art, especially because... There are a lot of free programs out there, but I really do like this one, especially if you're used to digital art on your phone i recommend because you'll you'll have all the same brushes and you're just moving over to a different to a drawing tablet that you, and then you have to just get used to being on a drawing tablet instead of getting used to a new program and being on a drawing tablet at the same time okay 
so for the two characters like i said i wanted them to look i wanted it to be more like romantic looking and i wanted it to look more like close that's why i didn't add any background dancing people like i did in the other one also i did not want to draw them and how i did draw them in the first one i copy pasted the original drawing i made but i silhouetted it but i and i made the and i made sure the dress like was shorter on the other so it didn't look like it was a bunch of different brides dancing i put in detail into that but i couldn't figure out that i needed to fill in the floor i'm sorry i i that bothers me on so many different levels anyway i wanted to slightly redesign them so the first thing was the world is my oyster, and that means I can do whatever I want when it comes to making these characters. I made them gay. Happy birthday. <laughs> that That's one. I don't know if that's really, like, anything. I thought the, 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 the yeah. They're, they're lesbians now. I just wanted to draw that lesbian. <laughs> but I wanted to try to make the characters more inverse or not yeah inverse of each other so one character was super pale like the classic vampire that you think of and one character had darker skin i still tried to make sure they both looked equally dead because they are both undead so i i made the the i made the darker skinned character um, more like more like a gray brown which i usually wouldn't do that if you want your character to look alive and not like unmoisturized, yeah. Unless you want to do that, I don't. Uh, I gave the darker skin character long black hair, like how you think a vampire would look, and the lighter, lighter, and the pale character got blonde hair. It doesn't look blonde because of the of the lighting, but it, the, her hair was supposed to be blonde. One character had her hair down, one was in braids. One was in a dress, one was in a suit. Pretty easy, I guess. Like, I just, again, I just inverted them to each, to each other. I also, I had a hard time with the lighting, which is weird for me, which I, that's another thing I really wanted to make sure I did right that this time because in the 2019 one, I don't know who shading is. Who's who's her? I I never met her, and that because that's what the drawing looked. Like. That's what it looked like. It looked like I. And the thing is, is, I knew how to shade. I remember knowing how to properly shade. I just again, I, I I failed that that time. Well, not properly shaded, but I knew how to like cell shade okay, ish, better than I did in that drawing. I didn't even like. God, I still can't believe I posted, but anyway. <laughs> so, I wanted to make sure the lighting for these guys was super nice. I So, I wanted to give the impression that there's like like a fire, like, torch, lantern thing above them. And the moonlight coming in as well. I had, like I said, I had a bit of an issue with it. Especially because I decided to render this piece by piece. Just to, because I was... Not that I was tired, but if I do it piece by piece, I'm more likely, if I just like, I fill in the color and then I render it, I'm more likely to finish it because it's less like, it'll bother me if I leave it unfinished without the color in. And so that's what I did. For the dress, I changed it as well. I was kind of scared to change it because I was like, oh God, it's going to look patchy. <laughs> and it did kind of look patchy, but I also think it like, added to it a little bit i changed the dress from being red to white so just because well to make it look more like a wedding dress and to like make it to where the tux and the dress don't melt into each other because they're so close together yeah speaking of i wanted to change the pose because i wanted them to look more like romantic and like they actually liked each other instead of just robot i yeah so i made sure to do that I also added like a little like I still wanted it to be a little red because they're vampires and blood and ooh. So I added like red like beading to the like necklace that she has, the uh, little bodice thingy at the bottom and then there's like this clear fabric. 
that shoots out that's red. Because I wanted there to still be red accents, but I wanted it to still look like more like a wedding dress. Another thing is I put a lot more thought into the designs of my character's clothes now. I used to just slap on whatever, whatever I thought was fashionable. <laughs> and now I think about it a little bit more. Even if it's just, oh, I saw that on Pinterest, it's cute. It, it's, a, it's more thought process than I did when I was younger. <laughs> so yeah, those are the two drawings. I also added a couple like filters on there to make it look more like an, like an old like photo vibes. Yeah, so yeah. Anyway, I really enjoyed drawing this and I really enjoyed fixing my wrongs. Man, because I needed to fix my wrongs. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.